5,000-year-old Stonehenge-like megaliths have been found after the waters receded in Spain near a coastal area, right on the coast actually, as a result of a drought. A 5,000-year-old megalith arranged in a circle. They were previously hidden underwater, according to the local. Quote, the stones that date from the 2nd and 3rd millennium BC, 2 to 3,000 years BC, that's 4,000, 5,000 years old, form the site of a sun temple on the banks of the river Tagus and were last seen by locals six decades ago before the area was flooded during the Franco era to create a reservoir. Many are comparing the discovery of these mysterious stones to the ancient Druid temple in Stonehenge in the United Kingdom. It's not only in Stonehenge we have circles like this, we also have them in the New World, the Indian sun circles. Very mysterious, we don't even know what they were used for. Quote, the collection of 144 stones found here in France, some uh, in Spain, some of which reach two meters height, that's over six feet tall, have engravings of serpents and are arranged in circles like Stonehenge. Uh, but uh, that, uh, like in Stonehenge, it's unclear exactly who put them there and what the purpose was. Angel Castaño, who is part of the Reyes de Peraleda Culture Association, that is hoping to preserve the stones and site where they were found said the site would have been created over thousands of years using granite transported from kilometers away like stonehenge they formed a sun temple and burial ground they seem to have a religious but also economic purpose being at one of the few points of the river where it was possible to cross so it was a sort of trading hub this is what he says now the fact that the megaliths have serpents carved on them is also a particular importance according to Castaño. He said, it was a dragon that protects the treasure, the guardian of the sacred zone, he says. It was uh, of constant religious and economic importance because it coincided with the uh, fort of Al Arza, which was a strategic crossing on the Tagus River. So who built this magnificent structure and megaliths? Researchers say it was most likely the, the Celts, the Celts of Ireland, Scotland, who lived in Spain, Iberia, about 5,000 years ago. Unfortunately, there's a race against time to save this incredible archaeological discovery. The rains will soon come, which means that the temple will likely be underwater yet again. Castaño explained why he and others are working quickly in the hope of guaranteeing the site is safe from being hidden once more, possibly for generations. He says, if we miss this chance, it could be years before they are revealed again, and because the stones are granite, they are porous, and already they are showing signs of erosion and cracking, and says that if action is not taken, it could be too late. This is on Out of Mind 2 by um, Humans Are Free. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.